What is Feldenkrais Awareness Through Movement? To someone peeking in on a class, an Awareness Through Movement lesson might look like a bunch of people rolling around on the floor, or walking in slow motion, or sometimes even sleeping. But for the participants, it's a rich sensory exploration full of interesting details and insights. So what are they doing? They are cultivating skillful movement through exploration and observation. Each lesson is a movement puzzle. Often compared to yoga or Tai Chi because of its pace, the Feldenkrais method is sometimes mislabeled as fitness, although it's not an exercise regimen. It's a system of movement re-education designed to stimulate your brain to open new pathways to improved movement. Can you feel your spine with the same clarity as you feel each of your individual fingers? Probably not. Could you learn to? Absolutely. Is it useful? We think it is. As you sit, reach your arm towards the ceiling. Did you stay in your comfortable range or did you strain? Repeat the movement while paying attention to the shifting weight on your sit bones, the changing shape of your spine. How far did you go up before you felt some kind of strain or effort or even held your breath? What contributes to the movement or holds you back? When we have challenges, we often call it aging, repetitive stress or tightness. We tend to focus on only what is painful. We zero in on the problem area. We even name it that way. My bad shoulder, my bad knee. But if we widen our scope, we discover that often while one part hurts, there are other areas that are actually inhibiting ease. Slowing down allows us to expand our attention and begin to even uncover all those little blind spots where we interfere with our movement. We deconstruct bigger and faster movements, staying attentive to the details. We explore variations and really tune into our relationship to the ground and gravity. Dr. Moshe Feldenkrais devised thousands of these carefully structured exploratory sequences, which we call awareness through movement. By growing our capacity to know what we are doing and gaining the tools for improving the quality of our action, we are actively engaging in our capacity to shape our brain and body. Genetics matter. Our environment matters. But the way we move on a daily basis either creates dis-ease or potential. Adaptable, skillful movement feeds the muscles, joints, actually all the systems of the body, and even the psyche. We aren't talking about exercise. While exercise is movement, movement is larger, and it includes the way we breathe, digest, turn our head, or even take a step. To move better, we need to expand our awareness of the parts of ourselves, to actually know them and how they work together. We need to understand our own habits. In a lesson, we facilitate this kind of deep learning. That means that what we explore in the Feldenkrais Method is foundational knowledge that can be built upon for making activities of daily living easier, providing a basic skill set of awareness, curiosity, experimentation, and adapting according to how it feels makes it useful for everyone. Let's take a listen to some of the short-term and long-term benefits that people have had after committing to a practice. The thought that I learned this weekend that was so wonderful was instead of thinking of me doing the work and pulling myself back and the muscles really having to compensate for, for my posture, to think of the ground as supporting me and my skeleton as lifting me to allow that lengthening to happen. And it just feels so effortless compared to how I was trying to do it before. It just feels like a really natural progression. If I really think of the ground as supporting me and allowing my skeleton to support me, it's just a wonderful concept. I feel confident to say that uh, for the rest of my life, I'm going to be actively using this method, probably in daily practice um, and certainly incorporating into my yoga practice and how I work with other people, I would highly recommend that anybody take any opportunity and experience to explore this method for themselves. 
I'm very grateful for this workshop and the Feldenkrais movement, and I hope more people will find it. Thank you.